and another track day, but it is not any track day. It is a grid life track day, and I'm pretty, pretty happy that I can be able to make an event at grid life, especially the track battle, because I've been wanting to do this ever since I saw Gears of Gasoline's autocross video and just starting my motorsports uh, I would say career in a lack of a better term or lesser term but pretty stoked we got the campsite we got a doggo who's acting kind of weird and then we got Lynn Lynn's here she's supporting me this weekend so I'm pretty stoked this is the first time at mid Ohio and we're gonna go and just put some laps down I know this car isn't competitive in street class and grid life, but more experience uh, to me, right? So more experience the better. This car is pretty dirty. These door carts are really hard to put on. So it is what it is, you know. Oh well, hopefully the bubbles come out. If not, they're staying in the car regardless. So you guys will be in the car with me. Actually. I just had my lap with uh, Tom McGorman. You guys will see that first, and then following up with a video from uh, a lap for me.
guys, so after session one, uh, we had a little mishap, but we still pull off a 160, a 146. Uh, oh, kind of, kind of baffled by that. I, that wasn't my expectations, but pretty happy with that. Uh, so now, a few of my friends are doing 143s. We're gonna go try and push it a little more safely, but we're gonna be pushing. And kind of the goal is to beat a 145 this weekend. Um, I really have no expectation besides that. Uh, that's, I just want to be a mid-pack and get a 145. That's my goal for your life. So we're about to be going out for our second session of day one of three. And we're going to go get it. Right now we're just chilling. I ate a little bit and we went to Home Depot to pick up some stuff. Uh, and I left my GoPro on, so maybe you guys will see the little, the little uh, time lapse of that real quick. But Lynn's here; she's working, just chilling, supporting me. Uh, so they're gonna be calling me up in like five to ten minutes, so you guys will be in the car. Morning. He has a muffler or a straight pipe setup that he can run on that car. Um, so I, I don't believe Mid Ohio has any sound regulations. Not so. Uh, let the it's rare these noise days run. to have a. Yeah, a community go. Hey, it's a racetrack. You know? Yeah, my thought on that has always been any any lawsuit filed by anybody around a racetrack. First question the judge should ask is, Who when is did you move first? Here? Yeah, and if it is after the racetrack was built, it should just be thrown out. Yeah, I don't disagree. Yeah. So, hey, Zhang just turned a nice lap. Got down to one forty one six. There we go. He was at a one forty five, so he just found something serious on that last lap. Good run. guys so it is the end of day one grid life at uh, mid ohio midsummer meet and is this still recording yeah it's still recording and uh one i just took a shower uh i've heard many things from people that have been here that i'm friends with and they said that the showers are prison like disgusting uh people would be uh taking showers with their eyes closed because you know communal stuff uh, update in 2021 the showers are <clears throat> singular there's curtains the drains on the floor can be a little nasty but you know it is what it is it's, it's a like shower, a gym shower and hot water it's like a gym shower probably better than the gym showers in like Boston but <clears throat> I mean worse yeah worse because Boston showers are really nice but it is the end of day one <clears throat> and that last session was hectic first of all the 
the uh, session gridding uh, had been reshuff reshuffled right before group C and I was group D initially and then when I checked right when they called the grid for grid, uh, like five minute grid for uh, group C my name was on the list so I was like oh crap okay let's let's get ready no worries right I can make it grid is like literally just down down that road and to the left um, found out my car was dead uh, I don't know if I just left the door open for too long and it just couldn't it didn't have enough uh, voltage or or there's like a short somewhere but <clears throat> we tried starting it again it works now but we had to push start my car luckily some friends over there and Lynn pushed my car backwards like a hundred feet and then forward 50 to 75 feet don't forget the gravel oh yeah it's in gravel too so <laughs> so they were they were they were putting some work for me and I really appreciate it because I got out to my session I pulled the killer lap you guys will see that in just a bit uh, but a little quick note that was my first time ever push starting a car from the driver's seat so uh, I was really worried I got it to start and I like I tapped the gas uh, not thinking because I, I just didn't want it to die again that it's gravel and I kicked up all the gravel on those two guys all the way over there I felt so bad but they told me that none of the rocks hit them but I, I think they're lying but anyways they're the real MVP they got me out to my session and you guys will see the flyer right now